What's going on? It's your boy Kev. Hey, I got a situation that I don't know whether I should just rip it all off or just leave it. You know, maybe it'll come off by itself, but it still looks good kind of rolling and it still looks all right just sitting. But anyway, so last weekend I spent my whole entire day probably like probably like eight hours because really um, I wanted to get in there and clean up my wheels and you might hear a little thunder out there and rain because it is storming right now. But anyway, um, this was my first wheel. Um, so there was a little bit of a learning curve there because I've never done it before. So basically what I did is I put glue on a whole entire layer and then I laid it down, okay? Um, so for the most part, the Eagle F F1 stayed on, okay? Um, and this is, this is all one piece. So this is not individual uh, letters and numbers. It's all one piece. This here is all one piece. Um, as you can see here, that's, that's coming up. That's coming up. Um, but I get it. That was my first wheel. Um, they do supply some spares, but I don't know. I don't have enough spares to fix my whole entire car. So this was my first wheel. And let me see, I think I did go to uh, the back, all right? I did go to the back, all right? And you can see I'm missing the good and the Y, and everything else stayed on, all right? So that, must, that was my second wheel. And I started doing was gluing each uh, character, I'm gonna say. I put glue behind that character and then I laid it down. And then I did the next letter, next letter, next letter. And even with the, um, with the, the stripes or slashes, whatever you wanna call it, I did those individually also and laid them down. So I thought I had you know some kind of process going on, um, which made it a little bit better. Um, as you can see here, I got more stuck on the tire than the first car. I mean, the first tire. All right, so as we go around to the driver's side tire, everything is completely gone. And, you know, this happens, this happened pretty much at high speeds that I will not disclose. So that's that. But now I have one wheel which is the back drivers and I have everything on the wheel so everything is still good on that one wheel and you know I'm, I'm kind of happy about that but it is what it is you know I have some spares that I might you know put on I might not I might just leave this you know totally the way it is or just rip it off um, but all in all, I do like the look of the tires while, or the car, while it's rolling. I can see the reflection on other people's cars, so I really like it. I was also thinking about using the ink pen. I'm not sure if it gives the same effect, like the raised letter effect. I did see a couple of people on YouTube, you know, who has used the, uh, the ink pen. Um, and I mean, it's all right, it's clean, but it doesn't give you that raised letter effect. So, um, I don't know what I'm going to do, but you know, if you have a little bit more experience in laying these letters on, um, I did do the process, you know, I cleaned up my wheels, I cleaned up my tires, I scrubbed them, I wiped them down till I completely had like no blackness on my you know my rag and stuff like that and then you had to uh, uh use acetone to to clean it up which you know i did that also and i also used uh the sandpaper to sand it down and then also i cleaned it again so i didn't want to leave you know any type of you know debris uh from sanding it down um so 
I did the process. Um, I was thinking maybe, you know, I might need a heat gun or something like that um, to try to make it stick a little better. But, you know, I don't know. At the high speeds, you know, I'm pretty sure, you know, there's a lot of people that, uh, you know, run high speeds and still have their, you know, their letters and stuff intact. But um, I don't know. But anyway, um, hey, if you haven't subscribed to your channel, please subscribe to my channel. You know, like, share, comment, guys. And on that note, I talk to you later. Bye.